gas company will not be identified for reasons of liability. Man, let's make a deal was really depressing in the 1950s. Quiet, this is important to me. I'm pretty sure Civil Mersley is a Harry Potter spell. The sandwich is practically an American institution. Born of gambling and laziness, doesn't get much more American than that. As far as these boys are concerned, well, hamburgers and hot dogs are their idea of a really good Jeez, meal. kid, take a breath at some point. ...and sandwiches. When Sally Gasco and her mother bring guests home for a late snack after a movie, they have something special in the way of a sandwich in mind. Salami and borax! Sally calls it tuna rare bit. Let's watch how she makes it. Oh, this is gonna be hot, hot, hot. Yeesh. This is a sandwich for forks. An open face creation, in other words. In other words, it is not a sandwich. On top. The basis will be rye bread, mother's idea. Uh, let's finish it before it gets real furry. Flavor made a good contrast to the bland fish and cheese. If it's so bland, so the then why are you serving it as a special toasted, treat? And so they'll be easier to eat later. She cuts them lightly with a knife. This is a light snack, so use only half a stick of butter. Sally puts a cube, about a square inch of butter into the top of a double boiler. A little butter finds its way into a great many dishes in this kitchen. Thanks to Dad's generous flavor, life insurance policy. Agent. Oompa loompa doopa dee doo. Part of the trick to entertaining unexpected guests is to always is keep a bullet bra in the freezer. generally useful foods. One of these is cheese of an One of these two women are cheese? Sally is going to use as a base for the rare bit. To speed the melting, she cuts this into slices in the milk and butter mixture. She calls this the cardiac roulette rack. wheel. The simmer flame keeps the water boiling gently while the cheese is melting. These were the so barbaric days before spray cheese pan. came along. She adds the canned chunk style tuna fish. And notice that she uses a wooden spoon to avoid discoloration of the mixture. And specifically uses Although one to discolor her boyfriend's backside on special occasions. In itself, Yow. It is a good idea to add something for variation in color and texture. Mother is making a salad dish. Honey, Celery, what are you doing radishes, in there? We just wanted some pretzel pickles. sticks. Sally adds potato chips to the menu. They used to be exclusively picnic fare. When? They joined the host of useful accessory foods which make entertaining so much easier and more I can't fun be the only one to notice eaters. Sally's wearing a see-through top. Uh, and you're on a watch list now. The bread was toasted quickly in the broiler. And the so tonight's is London broil is in to the serve. toaster. No, no, no. Oh, Roach fell in. Let's oh, well. See. What will be the beverage? Mother thinks she'll give the guests a choice of Coke or milk. Those who request water will be spat upon. Easily, it's a gracious gesture. Now it's time to serve. Two slices of toast are neatly arranged on each plate. Oh, and wow. the filling, or perhaps we should say covering, goes on top. That is toast, not a sandwich. Sally knows you should serve cream dishes with extra caution. Have blush shielding and hazmat suits handy. No Mother is a great believer in the aesthetic value of parsley. That's of why she made a frilly negligee too. out of it. Now a touch of Tabasco for color and a taste surprise. Uh, that's like calling a landmine a walking Sally surprise. Gasco. As we said, there are sandwiches and sandwiches. And that was a, a plate full of lies. I will get out the dictionary. And equipment and a little imagination can turn a sandwich into festive fare. Yes, a shingle is way more festive than hamburgers. William Buecher, I will never believe your pernicious culinary falsehoods. You and I are mortal enemies! Personally, I think I'll wait for Juario to do a You Can Cook This for this recipe. Well, as long as he's not wearing a bullet bra and a see-through blouse... Mmm, never know.